guessing that I, now I have to just add it as I now instead you, of generic. Yeah, you go to new module and you can search for for a CPX or a Festo. Uh, Festo. Festo. Yeah. Oh, there it is. CPX API EP. Okay. Yep. So yeah. double click on that. And now you see um, you give it a name. Yeah. And then you can give it an IP address. Okay. Uh, the same that one, uh, the same uh, one that we defined with boot p. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. And uh, now you want to go to where it says change, and here, okay. here. you will set it up uh, where it says I O configured fixed sint. You can hover over that and you hit the pull down, and now you can do um, if you want to set it up the same way. You can go to exact I O size. And you could do the same thing that we did before, or in this case, if you want to, if you want to set it up with a fixed size, and you want to uh, allocate some space for to add another module later on, you could do that too. Okay. okay. Um, so if you, if you'd like to try that, you can try the first so entry there, which is the sint for sixteen okay. bytes. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do that. So that way, I have an extra module here that I can add as well. Okay. So I'll do this one with 16. Okay, great. Um, if you want diagnostics again, you can hit yeah. the, the, the pull down below. And now you could add either uh, status only or, or diagnostic data, which would be status and module. So so these are the like the global. And, yeah, uh, yeah. So which one will be the global? So just the global is status only. Okay. And if I wanted per module diagnostics, then it would be diagnostic data. Yeah. So, okay. So, which one do you usually um, recommend going well, with? Well, why, why don't you do status only in this case? Okay. So the global. Yeah, and it should be twelve bytes, and it is. The, in the other case. Uh, so we, this is automo automatic, right? Yeah. Because of what you what you showed me it's, earlier. Here. It's always twelve. Yeah. So if I go here and I go to global, this one, it's always twelve. It's always twelve. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, and just to recap, this is the one that changes, right? Yeah, if I if that's I add, the more modules that I add, each module with will add twelve bytes, additional bytes. That's correct. Okay, got it. So that's why it's always twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is always twelve. I cannot change it. Right. So got it. You can you can hit OK here. Okay. And, and then you yes. accept that. And uh, you can scroll through the other information connection and module but i think everything else should be uh there isn't anything else to enter at this point here so that's pretty much all you need to do okay so this is uh, uh somewhat somewhat Actually, uh, kind of faster but it's uh it's yeah. cleaner in in the Oops. in the way that you get the icon and everything is yes. registered and everything yeah, right perfect. yeah okay so same thing i can download this again so let's download that yeah Uh, remote run and again I should be able to go down here and this is my new yeah now you see here there's going to be um, uh, there's going to be two instances of the data the first one will be um, you see there oh, the, the ascent is the process is 16 data. bytes yeah yeah this, this will be the process data and this is the diagnostics and that should be the diagnostics that should be 12 bytes and you look to the right of the data type you see it's an ascent 12 yeah Got it. That's Got right. It. So 12 because it's global, and so I can close that. And this one should be uh, 16, 16, right? 16, correct. Because, it's because we set it to fixed. That's right. Although, although I'm not consuming 16, I'm just consuming one. Yeah. Uh, it's allocating for 16. Mm -hmm. Got it. So again, if I press my button right now here, I should see some data. Yes. So I'm pressing the button there, and I change it to another position. OK. So All it's right. working. And same thing with the outputs, right? So these are my outputs here. And I should be able to fire some valves. Uh, oh, this is already, uh, this is also allocating for 16 bytes of outputs. That's right. So, so it's 16 inputs and 16 that's outputs. That's right. So if you hit the first one, you should be able to turn on the first um, yeah. set of valves. OK. Yeah. Now, 
in, in this mode, what you're going to see here, what, what kind of other module do you have to add? Uh, I have, I can add another, I can add another valve manifold, or I could also add a four digital input, four digital output module. Okay. Um, would you like to add the, um, the four DI, four DO? I can do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me just grab the cables. Okay. So first I'm going to plug in. Power. Turn the power off first. Okay. Turn of, the power of the off. API. Yep. Okay. What happens if I I add it while the power is on? Would it fault it? Um. You know? Probably. I don't know, but I think it will fault it. Okay. So I add this power here. Okay, and then AP communication cable. Goes in here. I'm just daisy chaining my modules. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have the other module there. Uh, I'm going to bring power back online to the whole AP network. Okay. Uh, okay, everyone is coming back online. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at the configuration on the screen and I just saw the yellow triangle disappear on yep. the API node. So I think if you hover over that or click on that, it should say it's running. Yeah, it yeah. is running. And now we want to be able to turn on that first output, let's say, right? So we were consuming three bytes of data before, I believe, right? Yeah, so, so it would be for, zero, the, for the manifold, right? So yeah. zero, one, and two. So let's go to, to three, correct, and see if you could turn on that first output. Yeah. Okay, so what we just did was added a module and turned on an output and we did not have to go back and change the controller. Right, and that is because we did the, the fixed uh, That's data right. size. Yes. So we did this, um, this fixed synth 16, right? Correct, yes. If I, if, I, if I did it just like we did it on the, on the generic where I just set it to three, what I, I wouldn't be able to control this additional module then because there wouldn't be any space. Correct. It would it would uh, look for the exact. It, it's the assembly instance that points it to whether it's exact or fixed. So, if if you use assembly instance one hundred and one hundred one, it's going to look for the exact size. But God, yeah. But gotcha. it's it's a different assembly instance, and you could do it in generic also. It's just a matter of picking the the right assembly instance. Got it. Got it. I oh, okay. This is this is pretty cool because that way I can set the uh, the data in case I, I need to expand I/O on my machine. I can do that later, and the data is already there. Right. Uh, so, the, uh, from a practical standpoint, that's good because then all of my I/O is not shifted whenever I add an additional module. That's right? right. As long as you add on to the end, or you start adding on to the secondary branch. Okay. If you don't uh, insert a module in between two other modules, you will not um, disrupt the uh, the addressing. Yeah, because that would be a nightmare when you have when you do that and everything gets shifted because right. now we have to figure out where everything went to. Right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I get this, and uh, and I'm guessing that the status would be similar to what you showed me on the generic approach, where I would get uh, just the raw data, right? That's correct. Like right now, this is the status, right? The the byte, uh, uh, this one right here? It should be input dot two. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, input two. So then, if I would, if I was to create a disruption right now, like yeah. drop the communication to the AP? Let's see. If you, okay. if you separate one of, the, one of the modules from the other? Yeah, I'm gonna drop the last module that I, add, that I, add, that I added. So there. Okay. 
and now we see Again. information that the module is disconnected. Okay. And I see a, a number four there. That would be the fourth module, right? Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, because the AP module is the first one, and then I have digital input module, yeah. manifold, and yep. then the and module that I just four. added. Yeah. So it's telling so you there's something. That, yeah, exactly. Oops. That's where this four is coming from. Okay, gotcha. So now I can plug this back in. And uh, and then I do, uh, right now, because I haven't seen that parameter, I'm just going to do a power cycle to the AP Correct. network. Right. 